All right, all right, all right. We're back for a new game. 2064 Read Only Memory. this volume down. Alright, hopefully that's good. I do like that. And then uh, we want to start a new game. Neo San Francisco, 2064 Ooh. AD. Neo the world SF. thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Including the ears. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain-to-machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. Interesting. However, some can't keep up with the fast-paced changes around them. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. <laughs> Some marketing hype. Organizations, like the human revolution, seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. I really like this voiceover with like the animation. And with this, humanity's destiny will be altered forever. Look at this guy. Hello guy. Cyberpunk Adventure. Press any button twice to skip. I don't want to skip. Alright, we're beginning the prologue. Woo. Home sweet home. Yes, yeah, it's like mainly a point and click game. But hopefully the story, I'm, I'm looking forward to the story. Musty might be a better descriptor. <laughs> um, cool. So we got bed, door, oh, lappy the laptop, plant. It's just a, looks like a strawberry, but I guess that's a pot. Window. YMO. Oh, so we can admire it, touch it, talk. Let's admire it. Friend Hayden gave this to you. The group is old, but the music is timeless. That's what he said, at least. Nice. We touch it. Careful, that's a load bearing poster. Alright, good humor. I like that too. Thanks for the tunes. Maybe one day you'll, they'll get released in Lips music. Is that what this is? We got a sink. I don't know exactly what the ooze is, only that it seems to be growing day by day. Nice. Let's touch it. Can we touch the ooze? Oh yeah, running water might just make the ooze worse. Okay, so we'll leave the ooze as is. Um, we don't have any items. Oh no, we have an ID card. My name, picture, and stats. Oh, what are my name, picture, and stats? Take a sip of the old stale coffee, the letters F and K seem clear as day. 
that's also really close. Alright, let's take a look at Lappy. That's probably got some information. May not be the most powerful or the fastest, or have the best screen, but it works. That's how I feel about my laptop. Um, can I touch it? Boot it up? There we go. Lappy is a bit of a relic. Better finish the article before I go to bed. What is this? Oh, so we got journal app, some kind of news source. Lips Live. What's this? The Premier Online Video Network. This app is like a mesh of all active streams. Interesting. Oh, okay, yeah. We don't want to wake up the neighbors. Aid in my request? That's interesting. Are there headphones? Despite the smell, keep the window open. Better to have gross air than no air. Besides, the window's broken. Cool. What do we have in the sheet of paper? Can we pick it up? <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Can we throw more on the ground? Oh, an unpublished novel. But if you're going to be sloppy, maybe going digital would be a good goal. Now your principles whine too much at the thought. Would Hemingway go full digital if he were in 2064? <laughs> Probably. How might I be able to- Oh! There's my headphones. Yeah, now we can listen to the stream. These are the GX Ultra Beats you have to do a product review on. Okay, they're smart headphones, so you should be able to use them things lying around your apartment. Okay, meaning my laptop. I want to check out what this live stream is. This is Live Intelligence Processing System, or LIPS for short. The GX Ultra Beats sync to Lappy automatically as you connect to one of the less pornographic feeds. Nice. Your best options are usually limited to video game streams, old concert recordings, and live cams of baby animals. Choice is clear. Lappy speaker feel neglected, but now you have the first hand experience needed to start actually writing the review. First part of the work is done. You're so accomplished. Mm. Good work. Can we check my inbox? Spam. We got spam and scam. Bill, work mail, day invitation. It's the invitation. An invite to come see the lighting ceremony of the Christmas tree downtown from your friends at Dr. Tracia Lee DDS. Thanks, dent, dentist, denty. Feels like a trap. They're gonna ask me if I've been flossing. Um. Past due. Should I pay this? Your account is past due the amount of 1,396.4 credits. Failure to restore your account may result in termination of service. Power plant power. Ah oh yes, the age old choice between food or electricity. Okay. Maybe we should start writing this review. Alright, time to get work out of the way. Let's do this. Ah, yes. Character by character, selling my soul. Finished. Now send it off to the editor. Yeah, my glowing review. That's how we'll get a book deal. Oh, time for bed. Or I could read some okay today and catch up on some news before I sleep. Yeah, sure, let's catch up on some news since this is my first drop into this world. I don't know what's happening. Current events. Human revolution remains vigilant in the Stay Human protests in the upper market. December 19th, the Human Revolution is on day 10 of their protesting outside various genus, genus clinics around the city, including those in the East Bay and down the peninsula. Genus, the gene splicing treatment facility, has been met with much controversy since the organization reached its mainstream exposure over the past few years. Genus employee Mort Crane spoke to you OK Today exclusively. According to him, most genus workers are up in arms, claiming they're being terrorized in their own city. We're here to help people who need gene therapy, for their own personal reasons, whatever they are, said Crane. 
Individual rights have always been of paramount importance to us, he continued, and we believe that our customers have the right to live as they please or require. The human revolution stands behind their claim that genus is diluting the human experience by providing hybrids with gene-splicing treatments. The group feels that the goals stated by genus, in addition to newer cybernetic technology, are warping humanity into a very scary, dark future. They're playing God in the most senseless of ways. We are born human. We are... Or who are we to mess with our genes and start turning everyone into who knows what, said one protester, who asked to remain anonymous. It's ridiculous and scary, it's not human. More information to follow as the story develops late into the holiday 2064 season. June Valmer, Anna, OK Today. This is Charlie Nova. Hey, it's Charlie Nova, host of Star in the Stratosphere, and tonight in the stars, Join Ryan V. Jossio and the Hassy Boys for the our Hassie 10th Boys. annual TMI New Year's Eve special, where I'll interview some of the hottest celebrities and find out what their plans are for 2065. Tune in or join us live at Union Square for the big show, starting at 10 p.m. Wow, that was very interesting voiceover guy. Sports, we don't care about sports. What about local news? Golden Gate Park vandalism on the rise. December 19th reports show that the local foodie booth at JJ's Froyo stand was destroyed last night in what appears to be another case of rogue ROM committing an act of vandalism. The cart was evidently attacked and damaged by a large ROM that had no shell. Witnesses state that the alleged perpetrator has been randomly appearing at night before lumbering back into the nearby trees on the western side of the park. This is the first case of a ROM being reported to live on its own in the world as a stray. Police say that tracking down a potential owner of the ROM is likely impossible. Some speculate that the strange ROM may have been framed by vandals who set their crime deliberately to make it appear to have been carried out by the ROM, rogue or under orders. Okay, today reached out to Parallax for comment, and they assured us that the ro rogue ROM is purely a myth that tends to pop up conveniently when low revenue businesses have an urge to file an insurance claim. Parallax does not appreciate the reports of vandalism being attributed to their models. Is this wild ROM the real deal, or could it be a fairy tale created by those looking to make a quick buck? Or perhaps there's something else to be gained. More of the story progresses. Mel Hopkins, okay today. This is cool. Okay, so I guess we're like a journalist of sorts, maybe just a product or reviewer for some kind of magazine. Um, let me take a look at something real quick. Make sure this is lined up. And I think I'll move my head down here. I think that makes the most sense. Though I don't want to block out too much of the text in the game. Uh, there we go. Hopefully that's fine. I'll keep an eye on it. Alright, so I think what I'm going to be doing for this series, just to take a quick second to talk about it, is I might just play for really long sessions, just make much longer videos than normal, that are maybe meant to be watched like in sections however you wish. Um, that just makes it easier for me to just really get into the story and enjoy what's going on in the game. But with that, let's continue. I guess it's bedtime. So I'm gonna get off my laptop and just head to bed. Nah, I'm not gonna worry about going out. My home within your home. <laughs> Nothing like curling up under these blankets and escaping away for a while. Yeah, bedtime. Go to sleep. Oh, there's a mysterious shadow. Oh. Who are you? You're the guy from the intro. Robot thing from the intro. I'm honestly not sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. <laughs> are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? I feel like I'm not. Blah? <laughs> I like blah. Oh, I 
I hope you don't mind. You're in my house. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media. Oh, he picked up my paper on the floor. Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microactuators. Your so microactuators? What about my microactuators? As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've uh, run into a bit of a snag. Is it because it's so old? Why are you here? I came in through the door, of course. All right, the robot. The graphic algorithms it uses are actually quite atrocious. <laughs> it only took me 17 trillion clock cycles to break your entry code. 17 trillion clock cycles? It looks rather imposing, but it's actually a knockoff of the Secugate M stroke 14723 stroke B. Yeah, I like so much to show you. Don't feel too bad. I actually cheated a bit when I cross-referenced likely numeric combinations against the stored personal data on you. Oh, of course. I'm not certain why you picked the birthday of your first dog, but it would be sufficiently obscure to defeat most casual attempts to enter. <laughs> Frankly, I felt a little silly that I took the time to do all that once I noticed that the lock on your window is broken and that you left it open. Yeah, I want to go back to the computer. What do you got a problem with? Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have had a critical failure while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty malware. Oh no. An electrical surge caused significant damage to several other components as well. Bruh. I would consider it no great loss, though. <laughs> Why were you using that dinosaur to begin with? Probably because I can't afford anything. It's all my work. I don't have money. Don't fret. I did manage to back up your data drive's contents on my storage before the crash. Oh, thank you. Robot. Additionally, I am willing to serve as your personal computer until you can procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary Who for me you? to make the repairs. It is the least I can do. That's nice. You still haven't told me who you are. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I subterfuge. tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Who's Hayden? No Hayden Weber? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I haven't seen Hayden in over a year. Where is he? I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Uh oh. Help me. You aren't quite my only hope, but you're certainly the most statistically supported. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> what makes you believe that? I ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. Okay. Based on the combined deductions of personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. Interesting. And the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. What's wrong with being suspected? Is this bad? I've never looked for a missing person. The numbers I'll don't try. lie about your investigative I'm bored skills, being a journalist. But I will admit your total lack of recent successes is <laughs> worrisome. Uh-oh. See about that. Don't worry. If Hayden trusted you, I trust you. You're strong-willed and capable. Thanks, robot. If anything, it's worth trying for Hayden. Let's do it for Hayden. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. Unbeknownst. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. Oh no. I crawled out of a window, and after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. On who's Hayden? Is he like my friend? I'm, I'm gonna... Assume he's my friend. Is anyone out for Aiden? Why would they want Hayden? 
He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no way that alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. I don't know. I suspect it has to do with me. What are you? Ah, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. I've never yeah. had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing. Turing. That's a cute name. I know this must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. That's cool. Exploring true artificial sapience. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. Hmm. Either to stop his research or to take it and use it for themselves. For nefarious purposes? So chatty, what makes you so special? I will just do tell me more. A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. Okay. They can appear rather smart, even human seeming, when you talk to them. But they're just cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. So how, why aren't you? They aren't in any way self-deterministic. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. Interesting. But despite my ability to self-modify my code, I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Aww. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? Oh no. <laughs> How are you? Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. Oh. How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? Yeah, cause he's dropping bombs on me. You're right. I apologize for the tangent. I don't know. I'm not certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. Hmm. Admittedly, Hayden Neither has become I. increasingly paranoid as of late, and has warned me to stay alert, but he would never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. That's probably it's not a good not sign. It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. There are several multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills. But I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. I don't know, anyone who runs multinational corporation would probably be a little sketchy. Guess we should get started. Indeed, time is of the essence. Yes, so we can sit here and chat. I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account, and the car has just arrived. Thanks, Turing. Took the liberty. Bobblehead, I don't want to be mean to Turing. He seems nice. All right, let's talk. What about the no, case? we can't. One of the last things Hayden told me was to avoid the authorities. We must be cautious about who we inform of this. Yeah, you can't trust the police. My calculations show that the possibilities of a leak are dangerously high. Corruption, despite being a challenge to Corruption. public trust as well as cohesion of departmental policies is still a possibility to consider. Always if is. If it becomes public that Hayden has been kidnapped, his life may be put in further danger. His Ooh, chances of escape would surely decrease. We must keep this to ourselves for now. Please. Okay, turn. Alright, leave the way. Hayden's apartment. Hmm, that's strange. Oh? Well, the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. Interesting. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. 
maintenance robot? It's possible. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by the automated systems. Yeah, that would make sense. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. Let us proceed oh, carefully. Oh, a lucky break! Oh, what'd you find? It seems my access codes still work! Yay! Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. Okay. Disturb evidence, be careful. Point where the door is Yeah, let's be careful. Agreed. Disturb evidence. Does not look like there was much of a struggle. I'm not surprised. Oh. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. <laughs> I it's doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. Oh no. <laughs> of course not. How <laughs> silly. How silly. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. Ah. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. Any sapient I could rip con. your arm off right now if I cared to. Okay, that's comforting. I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. The social sure contract the as a useful construct <laughs> is just as apparent to me as it is to you. Okay, that's that's nice. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. You're right, it's not. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. Yeah. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. But I... It's okay. He wanted to save you. Focus on finding Excellent it. point. Let's start searching for clues. Alright, we get to sleuth plant. Let's look at it. It's doing much better than the one at home. Okay, touch it. Pause off. Based on your track record, it's for the best. Okay. We got ROM parts. Hayden spends so much of his time at home building ROMs, as if he doesn't do enough of that at work. Kind of got a little angry there. Turn did. Hayden likes the natural light that this apartment affords. It this nice. window here is where I escaped from. It's better than mine. It is a considerable distance to the ground below. Did you jump? Critical system damage would be unlikely, but I would certainly have damaged my legs beyond repair, so... What'd you do? I took the fire escape! Oh. That makes sense. Let's look at the books. Oh, I think I see something under those reference books. Oh. We're disturbing evidence. Oh, I didn't ah, look at that it device. What is this? I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. It is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. I mean, that's fair. It looks like there's a place here for a physical memory card. Physical memory card? Is this a memory card? On the ground? It's like an old high-density memory card. Hmm, something might be able to read it. I wonder what could possibly read it. Let's get this broken tech first. It's in the middle of working on something. What kind of game consoles does he have? Not to get distracted. There's always a fan of old tech. There's a Mega 16, a Duro, and even a Family Link. What kind of TV does he have? Slipping through a series of Hayden's fees. Tech banter, Ted's code tips, augmented eye. Alright, let's check out this memory card. Hayden must have removed the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. Hmm. If only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude measures. 
tablet's calendar says he was supposed to meet with someone named Tomcat today. Not really. I guess we'll have to go ask. Tomcat. Says here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, located in the Castro District. Okay. So I'll Stardust. mark it on your city map. Cool. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. Yeah. I'm Perhaps they can first. shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. Let's see if he cleared his browser history. Oh, excuse me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. Whoa. I gotta set up a username and password. We shouldn't put that off any longer. Yeah. Once finished, I will have an assortment of new ways to assist you. Cool, Turing. For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. Okay. That's I just nice. need to ask you a few questions. Sure thing. This is an exciting thing, I promise. I'm sure it'll be riveting. Don't you know literally everything about me already? <laughs> yeah, cool, bring it on. Welcome to the first time user setup for your new relationship and organizational manager running the latest build of Parallax's live intelligence processing system. Okay. I'll need to ask you a few questions and then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide or contact our support department directly. <laughs> we have to go through all these preliminaries. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? Yeah. We're gonna go with Denny. Where's the oh I guess maybe I should do lowercase. Den Perfect. Do you wish to keep this name? Yeah. Thank you. I have input your name. Oh, he didn't read Next, the part. could you tell me That'd which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversation? We'll do he, him, his, 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 him. Thank you. He. I have input your pronouns. Good work, Finally, Trent. could you tell me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? What? I am omnivorous. Diet set as omnivorous. Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you for confirming. No problem. I have obtained your physical location from GPS and will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Sweet, that's the city map. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. Okay. In review. Oh, I didn't read that part out. <laughs> Does Everything that sound you need right? to know about me right there. Correct. Thank you. See, that was relatively painless. <laughs> you should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SF. Neo San Francisco. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. Okay. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. And just chill. We can hang. I want to look around though. Oh, all right. When you are ready to leave, just use your map. We'll do. I want to check out. This computer. That's Hayden's computer. Yeah, I got that. Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM, but desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. Do you know how to get in? Unfortunately, no, I don't. Oh. And before you ask, I don't think I would be able to break past its security in any reasonable length of time. But you have so many clock cycles. Your door used a much simpler set of algorithms with a much weaker processor. Same I my... actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CPU. Saying my door wasn't as powerful as his desktop PC. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms. 
Hayden's computer has enough spare processing power to run counter-intrusion software, if I attempt to slice in. Okay. Frankly, even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. Your robot. The mesh. Yeah, can't you just download the knowledge from the mesh net? I could, but much in the same way you might learn a task and still have no aptitude for it, I'm not certain I would be able to do the job any better than an experienced computer security expert. Interesting. The whole reason humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping them out is because humans have intuition. Intuition. While computers can only think in straight lines, humans can think sideways and upside down. Sideways. Thinking sideways. I lack that ability. Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds... I just don't think I'm very good with computers. <laughs> it is kind I of funny. I do seem to have some skill with painting, though. Interesting. Hayden was impressed with some of my pieces, but I'm not sure he has a firm enough grasp of early 20th century abstract expressionism to give me an objective opinion. Hmm, yes. Not many people do. Abstract art doesn't seem like something a robot would be good at. That's true. Machines are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, photorealism. <laughs> but I find it more challenging and satisfying to paint what I feel. Aw. Alright, let's go find Hayden. So we got this map button unlocked now. Let's head back home. This game does not autosave. So please be sure to save frequently. We should probably do that. I should figure out how to save. But with that, thanks for watching. Bye.